Hi everybody, I want to tell you a very special tshuva story which happened here in Sfat 500 years ago, the time of the Arizal. The story says that one day came to the Arizal a, a pirate which came all the way from Jamaica. And his story is that he had the most biggest pirate army there was on that time. And the amazing thing is that all of his pirate soldiers were Jewish. And all of them lived together in Jamaica. And, and his story is that he was from a famous family in Spain and during the Inquisition all of the Jews was expelled from Spain and his family decided to stay there. They were Jewish but they forced to, to live as Christians and he didn't know anything about it. As much as he knew he was a Christian. And when he grown up his parents told him, well you are Jewish. And then he decided that he ate the Spanish for what they had done to the Jewish world, to the Jewish nation. And he decided to quit and go out from Spain. And he went to Portugal and he then from over there went to Jamaica. And in Jamaica he decided to start a new Jewish army that fights only against the Spanish people. And they used to fight only against the Spanish boats and took all of what they have over there and killed the rest of the people, the rest of the Spanish people that were on that boat. And after many years living like that, he came here to spot and he went straight to the Arizal and he told the Arizal, well, you know, I didn't live a Jewish life and I'm old now. I know that I don't have much longer time here in this world and I want to make a tshuva. And I killed thousands of people and I captured thousands of people and I made them slaves and what can I do to pure my soul and, and become a Baal Tshuva? And the Arizal told him what you need to do is just to read every day five pages from the Zohar. You see that mountain behind me, that mountain, that's the Miro mountain and that's the view from Tzfat. And underneath that mountain is the grave of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, uh, the big Kabbalah scholar, the really big Tana, which wrote the Zohar 2000 years ago. And the Arizal told him, if you will read every day five pages from the Zohar, even without understanding what you read there, because that guy, Rabbi David Di Korea, didn't understand Aramic. And he told him, just read it every day, and that will pure your soul. And he did it, he did it. And when he died, when he passed away, a few years after that, the people in Tzfat, in Tzfat just buried him near the Arizal, and they wrote on his grave, the holy pirate, the Baal Tshuva, Rabbi David Di Korial. And that's the story. And from that story, many communities in the Jewish world learn that it's good to read the Zohar even without, without understanding what you read there. Just read it and it's pure your soul. And that's why we read the Zohar on Hanukkah Tabayit and we read the Zohar on Brit Yitzchak and many other occasions. And that's it everybody. Have a good year, Shana Tova and see you in Tzfat. Bye bye.